Hi guys, it's Ashraf from Wuzeju, and today we're going to be going through type 6 trigonometry questions, which are solving equations, and we're going to be specifically focusing on the grade 10 versions of these questions. So, in a type 6 question, you'll be asked to solve for an unknown angle, and the instruction you'll be given is to solve or determine the value of this unknown angle. Um, so, in grade 10, this is a very easy type of question, and why is that? Well, if you see the example I've put on the screen here, you're told to solve for theta, okay? But you also are told that theta is between 0 and 90 degrees. This is what makes the type 6 question quite easy in grade 10. So in this question here, you can see we've been asked to solve for theta. We have theta here in the question. We have a trig function. We are told that 3 sine theta equals 2, and we have to find the value of theta. So what would your method be in solving a type of question like this? Well, your first step, like in... Um, some of the other types of questions is to get your trig function equal to a number. So trig function equals number. So you saw in the example I gave, we had 3 sine theta equals 2. You would have had to get rid of the 3 over there by dividing the entire equation by 3 to get into the form sine theta equals 2 over 3. Okay. Step 2, determine the value of the argument using the inverse trigonometric function of your calculator. So the argument in a trig function is this here. If you have sine there, and theta there. Sine is your trig function, okay? And whatever's in the brackets of sine is called your argument. So you use the inverse function on your calculator to find the value of the argument by setting it equal to whatever's on the right-hand side. Step three, solve the equation by equating the argument to the answer obtained in step two. So let's go ahead and do an example just to see what this looks like. So the example we are given here is 3 sine theta equals 2, and we are told that theta is between 0 and 90 degrees, and we are asked to find the value of theta. So, step 1, as we know, is to get into the form trig function equals number. So, we have 3 sine theta equals 2, okay? I'm going to divide the entire equation by 3 to get rid of the 3 on the left. So, that's going to be sine theta equals 2 over 3. Now, we'll look at step 2, which tells us we have to use our calculator to determine the value of the uh, argument. So we're going to determine the value of theta. Okay, so I'm just going to bring up my calculator here. So I have my calculator here, and as you can see, I'm going to hit shift sign for my inverse function. So you can see above your sign button on your calculator, you have something that says sign to the negative one. It doesn't mean one over sign, it's the inverse function of sign. And what you're going to put in the function is what you have on your right-hand side. So in this case, 2 over 3. So I'm going to put in a fraction, 2 over 3. I'm going to close it and hit equals. And obviously now, you might be thinking this is the value of your argument. But I've done something on purpose when I did this. Um, my calculator is set in radians. You have to ensure that when you're doing any form of trigonometry in school, that's if you're writing your NSC or your IEB, if you're not doing AP maths, that your calculator is in degrees. So in order to set your calculator to degrees, you go shift, config, and you can see here number three is degrees and number four is radians. You want to set your calculator to degrees. And now you hit three, and you can see at the top here, you have a D. Before there was an R there on the right, now there's a D. And now if you press equals, you can see how that answer changes. And the answer you're getting now is in degrees, which is what we want. So the value of our argument, or in this case, theta, is equal to 41.81 degrees. That's our answer. If you had your calculator in radians, you would have got the wrong answer. Let's look at what the answer was in radians. 0 0.729, you can see there's an R over here. Degrees and radians are just different ways of representing the value of angles, and you always want to be working in degrees, so just take note of that. So I'm going to set my calculator back to degrees. So let's just try another question. Um, in this example, we are told to solve for x, and x is our angle here, and we've been told that it's between 0 and 90 degrees. So again, it's a grade 10 type of question because you're not looking at the third, um, fourth, or second quadrants. Um, the question we have here is a bit different, and it's going to allow us to explore what step 3 meant when I said set the argument equal to the value you've obtained on your calculator. So we are told that 2 sine x minus 10 degrees equals 1. So this x minus 10 degrees is your argument. 
and you can see it's a bit more complex. There's not just an angle, there's also this 10 here. So apart from your x, you have that to deal with. So step one, get in the form, trig function equals number. So I'm going to divide the entire equation by two to take that two over to the right-hand side, and that becomes sine x minus 10 degrees equals half. Now step two is to use your calculator to find the value of the argument. However, if you knew your um, special angles, you'd know that the inverse of sine, so sine half, is going to give you 30 degrees. But if you weren't sure about this, you could check on your calculator. So if you weren't sure, you could just bring your calculator up, and then you could say shift sine 1 over 2, and close your brackets like so. And remember, we in degrees, and that's going to give you a value of 30 degrees. Your answer is in degrees. So now for step three, we said we'll set the value of the argument. What's our argument? We said our argument was x minus 10 degrees. We'll set that equal to the value we obtained from our calculator. So in this case, we got sine inverse of half was equal to 30 degrees. So we'll set that equal to 30 degrees. And then it's just simple algebra. We take the 10 across and we get an answer of x equals 40 degrees. So this is how you solve a question with a complex argument. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this explains how to solve trig equations in grade 10 quite well. Thank you.